Yo, 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 yo. Hey there, this is Chad Garber. And in this video, once I get the volume correct, in this video, I'm going to show how. Is that too loud? That's too loud, isn't it? Like a little lower. And you know, this is going to be a faster live stream. It's not going. I'm not going to really interact with any of the chats or anything like that. I am just doing the lesson online. I've, I've done this once and it didn't save. And so I'm going to do it again. And so, so what I'm going to do is I'm doing the. I'm going to show you how to play Anthem by Phil. I forgot his name already. Um, Phil. Phil. What's his name again? I just had his name. Now I forgot it. Whitaker or something like that. Phil. I feel something. <laughs> Sorry. Wick, Wickham. Wickham. That's what it is. Wickham. And so I'm going to show you how to play Anthem by Phil Wickham on the electric guitar. And I'm not showing you how they play it. I'm showing you how I play it. So hopefully this is working and you get the video and everything. So I'm going to jump right into it. First part is this. And all that is is I use my middle finger and I hit the 14th fret of the high E, E14. Hit it one, two, three, pick it down three times and then, and then pick use your pointer finger and hit the 13th fret of the high E. Pick that once down and then use my, what I do is I use my ring finger to hit the 14th fret of the B. Pick that down, so. And it's important to have a good uh, good preset because if you do that with just a regular, you know, clean sound, it won't sound very good. You have to have that delay and stuff. I'm using my H X stop line six H X stop. It might be, sound better like this, even though. Yeah, I guess I'll do it the higher part. Okay, the next one is I use my ring finger and I hit the thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth fret of the high E. I use my ring finger. I, I pick that down four times. One, two, three, four, and then I use my middle finger to hit the fret below it. So 18 to the 17th fret. And then it repeats. This is the intro and the chorus. In case it's too loud. Let's make sure it's not too loud. And again, I can't really test it. I'm, this is a, a faster video. That's probably fine. Okay, so that's the first part in the chorus. Second part, again, and this is, again, for the record, this is what I'm playing. This is not what they're doing. This is how I play this song. And I, I've played it live, and it sounds really great, in my opinion. So I've created this a lot of this stuff, some of it. And and I've made it from what the piano is doing, et cetera, et cetera. But it sounds really good if you want to do it this way. But it's not how they play it for the record, all right? So then <clears throat> I got the swell going on. I, I, have, I have a wah pedal that is a swell for the HX stomp, so I can do stuff like this. And so with this part I do, there's going to be... There's a chord. There's, I'm using triad chords, so it's like, here's how it's going to sound. And it reason. The second so that's those chords are I'm, I'm not going to tell you what they are well but anyway the chords are what i do is i take my pointer finger and i put it on the sixth fret of the b take my middle finger or my my yeah my middle finger put it on the seventh fret of the g and then i take my ring finger and put it on the eighth fret of the d and then i, I swell in I, I, I strum it with the volume all the way down then i put the volume up The second one is I take my pointer finger and I put it over the tenth or the yeah, tenth fret of the D, G, B, and E. I'm not really hitting the E though, and I'm just hitting really the, the D, G, B on the tenth fret, and I do the same swell. It's an F. And then I take that same chord and I move it down two frets to where I'm hitting the G or the D, G, and B on the 
10, 9, 8th fret. Right, and then I'm going to take this, you know, a D minor shape. Where I put my pointer finger on the 6th fret of the high E. My ring finger on the 8th fret of the B. And my middle finger on the 7th fret of the G. And then it goes back to that, the 10th fret one. So it's... Okay, the second time on, on the verse, it does the same chord starting off with. It goes the same chord secondly. And then it goes to the same third chord. But rather than go to the that the D minor shape, it goes back to the tenth fret. Or the twelfth yeah, the tenth fret one. So it's and then it goes back to the initial chord. So the whole thing is faster than it really goes. Okay, then it goes back to the intro or the chorus. Okay, the second time what we're doing the verse is the piano is doing this. And so what I do is I just, I'm doing the triads that the pianos are doing. It sounds like this. So what I'm doing is I'm going to use my, I use my ring finger to hit the seventh fret of the G. And I pick it down. I got my pointer finger on the fifth fret of the G. And I pick that down as well. Then I use my pinky to hit the eighth fret of the D. Pick down. And then I repeat it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The frets aren't sounding right. The numbers aren't. But anyway. So I'll do that four times. Pick it all down. All right, and then I take my rig finger and I hit the seventh fret of the D. Then I take my pinky, hit the eighth fret of the D. Then I take my pointer finger and hit the fifth fret of the G. Four times. Then I take my pinky, put it on the eighth fret of the G. And my ring finger, hit the seventh fret of the G. Then I take my pinky and hit the 8th fret of the D. And you do it twice. And then I take my pinky and I hit it on the 8th fret of the D. And then I take my pointer finger on the 5th fret of the G. And then my ring finger on the 7th fret of the D. So, it's, so it goes... Wait, so... So I'm gonna try again. I think I might have messed up. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And then it goes to the, so then it goes back. Once it goes, then it goes to that. Like I said, your eighth, you pick on the eighth fret of the D, and your pointer finger on the fifth fret of the G, and your ring finger on the seventh fret of the G. And then it goes. The last little part there is you take my ring finger, put it on the seventh fret of the D. Take my my pinky, put it on the eighth fret of the D. And then I take my pointer finger, hit the fifth fret of the G. So the whole thing again is. that part four times then it starts now this time you know this time it starts differently it, it, it was starting off before going it was descending now this one's going to continue to ascend 
and then descend a little later. So then so the second part of the verse starts off with this part. So I go. So you start off by hitting the point, your point, your, or my, well, what I do is I start my, I can't talk all of a sudden, my pinky, I put my pinky on the eighth fret of the D, my pointer finger on the fifth fret of the G, and then my ring finger on the seventh fret of the D, and I start there four times. And then, and then I go back to the other one where my, my ring finger's on the seventh fret of the D, my pinky's on the eighth fret of the D, and my pointer finger's on the fifth fret of the G. go to that where my eight pinkies on the eighth fret of the G my ring fingers on ring fingers on the seventh fret of the G my pinkies back on the eighth fret of the D and this time you go to the ring my, take my ring finger put it on the fifth or the seventh fret of the D pinky on the eighth fret of the D my pointer finger on the fifth fret of the G so, and then you go with your pointer finger your pinkies on the seventh fret of I'm sorry the eighth fret of the D Pointer fingers on the fifth fret of the G, and then your ring fingers on the, I'm sorry, the fi fifth fret of the G, G, and then the seventh fret of the G, G. So the whole thing is. No, don't. listen to it to get, get all the timing and all that right okay so then and then it goes into the bridge in the first part of the bridge it goes it goes to this chord with the, your what i have my middle finger on the eighth fret of the d g and b and i do again i do the swell again and then it goes to that d minor shape chord which is not really a d minor but that's the shape of it. and then it goes to the 10th fret one chord that I showed you earlier. These are all the chords we've already used. So it goes, so it goes straight to that. I think that's an E. E flat on it. Anyway. Alright, and then it goes to this other chord I showed you. Remember the one of my pointer fingers on the 6th fret of the B, my ring finger. My middle finger is on the seventh fret of the D, I mean G, and then my ring finger is on the eighth fret of the D. That one. Again, I showed you all these chords. This is just the, one of the chords I showed you. So it, it just rearranges the, the order. So it's like, goes to that. And then it goes to this one, like I just showed you. Back to this one. Stays on this, it stays on that for a little bit, like twice as long as it normally would, and then it, the chords are pretty much the same thing. But what I do is this. And I'm hitting it kind of on the offbeat. You have to have the music in the background to really get it, but it's on the offbeat. But those are the, the notes I'm hitting. I use my pointer finger, <coughs> hit the twelfth fret of the G. And then I use my, my ring finger to hit the 14th fret of the G. Hit that twice. And then I use my middle finger to hit the 13th fret. Of, I'm sorry, that's the 15th fret. I'm sorry. So it's the 12th fret of the G to the 15th fret of the G to the 14th fret of the G. So one, two, three, four, five. So whatever that was. One, two, three, four, five. Six times, I think. And, just, and then it hits this one twice. And then I go to the 10th fret of the G, hit that twice, and then back to the 12th fret of the G. So the whole thing is... And so essentially, there's, there's, the bridge has three parts, and they're all building up, okay? So the first one I just showed you, this one I'm, I'm showing you is the second version, and there's a, there's a third version where that part and it goes, goes, and then it ends, stays in the last chord longer, and then goes into the third 
part of the bridge. Okay, now this, again, this is the second one, so. Again, I made this up. This is not what they're doing. Okay, so then the third part of the bridge, I do the same notes. I just do it where I'm alternate picking. third part of the bridge and then what happens is they go into the chorus without the music they, they kind of go in just with the drums and the vocals and then when you come back in you go so you come in doing that d minor shape again at the very end of their silence of the vocal silence and then into the 10th or 8th fret of the uh, g b and e again i'm sorry g d g and b and that leads into the next this part again So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, subscribe and uh, feel free to give me some likes and share, share, share. Sharing is caring. Anyway, but thank you so much. Hope th hopefully this helps and uh, peace out.